with uh, Isaiah being official now, uh, what's the plan in terms of playing time? Are you looking to, to play him tonight or, or what? No, I mean, he's here for depth. You know, um, when we're at full strength, uh, he won't be in the rotation. Um, so if we stay at full strength, he, he, you know, he may not on the floor for us in, in his 10 days, but um, he's someone that we trust, that we value his game. And, you know, if we have uh, injuries slash foul trouble to uh, Booker Ryan in particular, you know, then we got to look at, uh, at the point guard depth, and, and he comes into play at that point. No, he's got to be ready. He's got to learn our whole system. Like, you know, we're not complex. You know, most of the league is, is running similar actions. This is what we call you know, what's our, 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 our terminology with things. Um, you know, but you, you can get a lot of that and accomplish it and work out like we saw today. Much, much, much later. Hey, guys. So I recorded the audio to this video at halftime, and the Phoenix Suns pretty much had the win secured tonight versus the Philadelphia 76ers. And guess what? Frank Vogel played Isaiah Thomas for two minutes. He had one shot, which he missed, and then he had an assist, I believe, off a Nazir Little three. So Isaiah Thomas played. Frank Vogel played him. And look, you guys, I'm not saying this like proves my point of the video, but just listen to the rest of the video. I feel like it kind of helps prove my point, sort of. Like, I know that, like, you know, he may not play next game, and I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but at least Frank Vogel played him, y'all. Just enjoy the rest of the video, listen to what I have to say. And thanks for watching, guys. So, yeah, as you just saw in the video, Frank Vogel said that Isaiah Thomas will be out of the rotation. And I already know that the Phoenix Suns fan base is mostly angry about this. And I have some mixed thoughts on it. I'm not trying to make this video for clickbait or whatever. That is not my intention here. And listen to me, guys. I understand that Suns fans want to see, you know, the shiny new toy. Like, for example, when we signed Thaddeus Young. And I do understand that. And I understand and I want to believe that Isaiah Thomas can make an impact on the court. And I really do want him to be successful with the Phoenix Suns. I want him to stay with the Phoenix Suns for the rest of the season and throughout the playoffs. I am rooting for this guy. It is hard not to root for this guy. Now, this might sound like an unpopular opinion, but I would like to believe that the Suns told him in advance before signing the contract that minutes aren't promised. And I don't think Isaiah Thomas would have signed with us if he was expecting a bunch of minutes right away. Whatever the opportunity is, I'm, I'm ready to make an impact each and every day. You know, whether I play or not, um, it's bigger than putting the ball in the basket for me. Like, I'm, I'm able to lead, um, lead by example, lead by my experiences, and just, you know, help in any way possible. So... You know, if my name's called, you know I'm ready. So I'm, I'm ready to go right now. But if it's not, I can still impact the game in so many ways. Um, so, like I said, I'm just super thankful for the opportunity and going to impact each and every day. For those of you who have actually played for a basketball team, you guys know that minutes are not promised. Even in the NBA G League, for example, minutes are not promised. They are earned. And keep in mind, you guys, Frank Vogel did say that unless you know there's injuries or foul trouble comes up. So it's not like Isaiah Thomas is never going to play. Now, again, I could be wrong on that, but I'm just saying that I think, you know, the Frank Vogel video and the quote and everything might have been taken out of context. And again, I'm a little torn on this, too. Look, I do understand that Frank Vogel has his flaws as a coach. I understand that. And I do want to see Isaiah Thomas out there playing and contributing for us and everything. But I just think that Frank Vogel's quote might have gotten taken out of context. And again, you guys, this is a 10-day contract. Anything could happen. I am really cheering and rooting and hoping that Isaiah Thomas, you know, is successful with us and stays with the Phoenix Suns throughout the rest of the season and the playoffs. And again, I don't have any sources or information on this, but I really do believe that Frank Vogel and James Jones talked to Isaiah Thomas before and during the signing about Isaiah's minutes and his role on the team. Again, I could be wrong here, but this is just my thoughts. So get active in the comment section, you guys. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Brandon, aka Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button, win or lose Phoenix Suns for life, and thank you guys so much for watching. Go Suns. Sounds good. Appreciate it.
What's up, Sanji?